the main western entrance to the archaeological site of the castle consists of three successive gates. It lies beneath a high rectangular tower which has been reinforced with a sloping lower wall called Scarpa. The first exterior gate penetrates a relatively short wall embedded in a bastion, the parapet of which bears numerous openings for the use of large fire weapons. The second gate is protected with battlements and a corridor which housed a guard and fire weapons. In the third gate, a part of a box machicolation is preserved. This box machicolation served to defend the underside and for that purpose it was placed at the crown of the wall over the gate. When crossing the three gates, we finally enter the third zone of the castle defined by walls with rectangular battlements. Battlements built on top of the wall can be seen with the alternating merlons and crenels for defense. The merlon is the solid upright section of the battlement and the space between two merlons is called crenel. A small gate is opened at approximately the center of the internal wall between the second and the third zone and gives access between the core of the castle and the upper town. On July 20 each and every year, including the evening of the previous day, this small gate opens allowing all visitors and pilgrims to enter free of charge in order to commemorate one of the great prophets of old, the prophet Elijah or Elias at the single-aisled church located further up. A pathway leads from the third zone through a single gate towards the fourth zone. The third zone houses the buildings of the modern archaeological guard as well as ruined storage buildings and water cisterns.